Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with my Halloween perfume video. So I think the first time I did this was last year and I had so much fun with it, I knew I had to do it again. And I've got some uh, new fragrances in my collection or not a ton, but I've got a few new fragrances to add to this um, that are like Halloween fragrances or remind me of Halloween. Um, so yeah, before we get started, I do wanna tell you some of these remind me of Halloween because the bottle looks like Halloween to me. Um, some because I wear them around this time of the year, so it just automatically makes me think of Halloween. Um, and then some because well, and then at least one because it's an actual Halloween fragrance, um, and then some because they just smell like Halloween. Um, before we get started though, I do wanna show you because I, I didn't wanna do like a whole video on this because I did a short on this, but I do just wanna show you again um, because you cannot think of Halloween without thinking of Dreamhouse Curio. The whole house, the whole aesthetic, the whole vibe of it is very like Halloween all year round. Um, so Vincent, I was very, very lucky to have received one of the bottles of, um, one of the first 25 bottles of I Have Brought You Flowers. So um, a lot of the time Vincent will have a story that goes along with the fragrance and this is what the first 25, well, no, you can still get this, um, but the first 25 people that ordered this fragrance got it in this. Um, so you get this really cool, like, kind of paper mache and decorated, um, I have brought you flowers cover here, and then with the flowers in it. And so you take the flowers out And inside, this is an actual like graphic novel that Vincent created around this fragrance. Um, and this is what it looks like. I mean, tell me that isn't Halloween vibes. Tell me that isn't Halloween. I mean, it's so cool. Yeah, it's just so awesome. Um, so there's that. And then, Inside is your bottle of perfume. Oh gosh, it smells amazing. It is the most beautiful floral fragrance ever, but I mean that is, I tell me that isn't Halloween in a bottle. So anyways, I just wanted to quickly show you guys um, that because it is just so awesome. And you can still get the, you can still get this whole presentation. It's just kind of, um, it's like a special, I think you have to do it by special special request and it's $170 or $180 instead of $140. Okay, but anyways, I'm gonna jump right in with the rest of the fragrances. So the first one, this is my scent of the day today. And this reminds me of Halloween because this is the only time of year I usually wear this, um, is right around Halloween time because I always pull this out as soon as it starts to get properly cold and it's actually pretty chilly today. So uh, today is the first day that I wore this and we are just days before Halloween and um, I love it. It reminds me of Halloween. This is Bon Guerlain, but this is syrupy and sweet and very smooth. Um, the lavender is toned way down. The vanilla is amped way up. This also has a butter note in it. It's fantastic. In my opinion, this is the best formulation of Mon Guerlain, hands down, the best. Um, it is so delicious and sweet and syrupy. And yeah, it just reminds me of Halloween because this is the time of year that I always wear this. So that is the first one that is my, and this is an absolute monster of a fragrance. This will last forever. Sadly, this one's long discontinued. It is difficult to find and it's very, very expensive if you can find it, but oh my gosh, it's worth it. It's such a good fragrance. Um, it's delicious. It's absolutely stunning. Yeah, and it's a beast. I mean, you'll get a good eight, 10, 12 hours out of this easily. I don't think I even said the name of this. This is a Guerlain Mon Exclusif, and it's fantastic. Okay, next I've got a couple of Dua fragrances. Um, my Dua Apple fragrances, both of these, and Palm Fire, but that, that one not so much because it's a little bit, um, 
less heavy on the apple so it doesn't it reminds me more of just like a general fall fragrance rather than like a Halloween fragrance. These two remind me of Halloween. Palm Trempe is just, this is a dupe of Killian Apple Brandy. And this is just like a straight up sweet, delicious apple scent. Caramel Palm Delight, this is Zerjoff Lira. And Killian Apple Brandy, this smells like a straight up caramel apple. Um, they're both delicious. I pulled these out. The, this is the same as the Mon Exclusive. These remind me of Halloween because this is the time of year that I pull these out. Um, once we get through October, I pretty much put these away um, because in my mind, these are like Halloween scents. I love these. They remind me of like crisp, cool fall nights, carnivals, caramel apples, Halloween costumes, leaves changing, bobbing for apples, all of those things. It just reminds me of all of those things. So yeah, those are two apple duo fragrances that are totally Halloween for me. Next we have an actual Halloween fragrance and I ordered these a few months ago. I think I ordered these back in like August, um, but this is Halloween in a bottle right here. This is Alchemia Perfumes, and this is the All Hallows Eve Alchemy from 2022. And this is delicious. This is Halloween in a bottle. It smells like warm and fall, but it's sweet and yummy and smells like candy and treats and all it's it smells like Halloween it is delicious I think it's got a little bit of licorice in it it's just warm and yummy it smells like candy but without smelling like literal candy I have another fragrance on this list um, that smells like actual literal sweet candy this smells just like treats in general and this one is really warm and reminds you kind of of like fall nights too it's like caramely and warm and licorice and it's delicious. I love this. Um, I've worn all of these, but yeah, I'll definitely be giving this one some more love uh, before the end of the month because this is Halloween in a bottle. So anyways, that is Alchemia Perfumes uh, 2022 All Hallows Eve Alchemy. Next, I have a Mariah Carey fragrance, and I have not worn this fragrance for a couple of years, but if I do wear this, it's always around Halloween time. Um, this is such a strange fragrance. This has got like, it's got sea notes in it and marshmallow and, oh, I love this. <laughs> I forget how much I love this scent until I pull it out and smell it again. It kind of reminds you of like a bonfire, maybe like a bonfire on the beach or something. It's really, really difficult to describe this one. It smells warm and it smells like, I don't know. It just smells like Halloween to me. Like a bonfire on the beach at Halloween. Like on Halloween. It's really, really difficult to describe. It's a little bit sweet. It's kind of perfumey. Um, it's a strange little fragrance, but it works. It's really, really nice, and it reminds me of Halloween because this is always the time of year that I pull this one out. Um, and yeah, I will be giving this some love before I put it back away. I can't believe that I have so little left. Um, I've used, I guess, about 60% of this bottle. I used to wear the heck out of this um, up until a couple years ago, and then I just kind of stopped. It's a pretty small half-ounce bottle, so... But yeah, it's, um, I'm working through it. But yeah, strange little fragrance, but really good. And it reminds me of Halloween. And the purple bottle definitely helps with that too. It definitely looks like a little Halloween bottle. So anyways, that is Mariah Carey M. Okay, this next, this next one is another like caramel apple scent that smells like Halloween in a bottle. Um, this is a fragrance from Wild Spirit Chill. No, sorry, from Wild Spirit, and it's called Chill. This one is Caramel Apple and Amber, and this smells like, again, smells like Halloween in a bottle. It reminds me of carnivals and fairs and bobbing for apples and caramel apples and cakewalks and just all the Halloween things. Chilly, cool, fall nights, changing leaves, 
all of it. I love it. It's Halloween in a bottle for sure. This is, you can find this at Walmart too, or on the, if you can't find it in store, you should be able to find it on their website. Um, I love it and it performs super well for being a in really inexpensive fragrance. Um, I remember the time, the, when I wore this last year, I was so surprised at how incredibly well this performed. Um, I think I got six, eight hours out of this easily. It's great for layering. It smells amazing on its own. It's just, oh, it's such a good, affordable, underrated scent. I love it. So anyways, that is Wild Spirit Chill. Next, this one was in my last Halloween video. Um, this reminds me of Halloween because of how it smells and it evokes a certain like image in my mind. Uh, this is Guerlain Insolence and this is maybe the most like sweet candied violet scent I've ever smelled. It's a very sweet syrupy candied violets and this reminds me of like candied violets in a tin. It reminds me of like candied violets being a sweet that you would find in like the Victorian era. So this reminds me of like little children dressed up in their like homemade Halloween costumes in the Victorian era. And they would get, you know, maybe one tin of like candied violets or something. I don't know, I didn't live during that time obviously, but there's something, it conjures that kind of an image in my mind. Like old fashioned Halloween and sweet syrupy, sugary candied violets. This fragrance I'll wear all year. I haven't worn this for a couple of years. This is another one that for whatever reason I haven't pulled this out for a couple of years, um, but I am going to keep it out and wear it before I put it back away because um, I love it. It's I'll wear this all, you know, as soon as it starts to get cold, I'll wear it for the whole cold season. Um, it's not just like a fall scent for me, but yeah, because it's such a syrupy, sweet, candied violet scent, it just reminds me of Halloween. So anyways, it's an absolute monster of a fragrance. You will get a good 10, 12 hours out of this, lasts forever. I've heard that the reformulation of this fragrance is still really, really good. Um, so yeah, I love this bottle too. I think it's stunning. So anyways, that is Guerlain My Ins... No. So anyways, that is Guerlain Insolence. This is the EDP formulation. Okay, this next one, this is a combination. And the reason this reminds me of Halloween is because I, I'm i pretty sure that I came up with the... Or that I did this layering pair last year right around Halloween. So now every time I smell this, it reminds me of this time of year and of Halloween. So I think it was right around this time last year that I picked up this fragrance here. This is the Rebecca Minkoff fragrance. Yeah, and this is this is kind of like a slightly sweet, it's a little bit woody. Um, it's kind of like a nondescript smelling scent. I don't, there's nothing in it that I'm like, oh, that's a patchouli scent or oh, that's a floral. Um, it's really, it's another one that's really kind of strange and hard for me to describe. I don't know that I would wear this one on its own. And it's funny because when I first bought it, I brought it home, I sprayed it all over me, and I, it, I had that same kind of reaction. Like, I'm not really getting anything from this. But I knew it would make a great base for something. So um, I pulled out my Aqualina Pink Sugar and I layered this over this. And holy cow, you guys, this is such an amazing layering combination. Um, I adore pink sugar. I am a hardcore pink sugar lover. I have been since it came out. I think this came out in what, like 2005 maybe? And I've been obsessed with pink sugar since it came out. It is a delicious, really true syrupy gourmand scent. It's got a darkness to it, like a dark kind of burnt caramel or burnt brown sugar kind of aspect to it that I absolutely love. I just think this fragrance is fantastic. Um, I haven't been without a bottle of pink sugar in my collection for since it came out. Yeah, I can't even remember when I got my first bottle, maybe like 2007, 2008. So it, probably a couple or a few years after, but I haven't been, with, been without it since. 
This combination, you guys, is fantastic. I, it's hard for me to explain the combination, but if you can just imagine the sweetness and the sugariness of pink sugar, but kind of tame it with a, with this just kind of warm, I don't know, warm kind of nondescript scent that doesn't really have much sweetness in it at all. It really tames the sweetness of the, the pink sugar and really adds another layer of complexity to it. It's gorgeous. I had, somebody else had both of these too and was like, oh, I'm gonna try that. And then came back in my comment section and was like, I tried that and you were right, that is fantastic. So I was glad to know it wasn't just me. It's just, it's so good. But anyways, it reminds me of Halloween because this is the time of year that um, I did it. So yeah, this is another combination I'm pulling out and I'm gonna leave out and wear this before I put it away. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. So that is Aqualina Pink Sugar and Rebecca Minkoff. Next, we have a Ganache Parfums fragrance. Um, this one, I need to write on this before I forget what this is um, because when this was shipped to me, you can see this is the bubble wrap where something leaked and the bubble wrap got stuck to the label. Um, this is called Marshmallow and Incense though. And this to me is Halloween in a bottle. This one isn't Bonfire on the Beach like Mariah Carey M is. This is like Bonfire, just Bonfire, just Bonfire anywhere. This isn't overly sweet, um, so it's not like a typical really sweet marshmallow scent. It's like a fluffy, it's, this one's really hard to describe too. It's kind of like a, kind of like a fluffy, and it's not an incense perfume either. It's not like a typical incense at all. It's more of like the incense has taken away most of the sweetness, but none of the fluffiness of the marshmallow. And the marshmallow has taken away all of the like incense qualities. Very hard to explain, but it reminds me of like a bonfire, a bonfire for sure. It's so weird. It's like an unsweet, kind of buttery, fluffy marshmallow scent. Um, it's This is Halloween in a bottle to me. This just reminds me of cool fall Halloween nights, uh, or cool fall nights, but like a bonfire on Halloween night is what this reminds me of. Love it. Sadly, you cannot find this fragrance anymore, like it doesn't exist anymore. Um, but I am glad to have it in my collection. So anyways, that is called Marshmallow and Incense from Ganache Parfums. Next, we have a CJ Scents perfume. And all of my CJ Scents perfumes remind me of Halloween because they're all pumpkin scents. All of the full bottles that I have are pumpkin scents. But this one here reminds me of Halloween more than, than any of the others. This one is called Boo. And this is Halloween in a bottle for me. This is spicy pumpkin and sweet candy. It's delicious. I did, I did a whole video on uh, CJ scents, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this, but this is Halloween in a bottle. Spiced pumpkin and candy. It smells like Halloween. It smells like, it smells like Halloween. I mean, it's perfect. It's phenomenal. Um, so anyways, that is CJ scents. Boo, it's a monster too. This is, you're gonna get 10, 12, plus hours out of it, it's so good. Okay, this next one, this was also in my last Halloween video. This bottle reminds me of a perfume bottle that is dressed up in a costume, and it smells like straight up sweet tarts. Um, this is Michelle Germain Sugarful, and oh my gosh, I love the smell of this. This is such an incredible fragrance. Nothing groundbreaking, but it's fun and so youthful smelling and it smells like straight up candy, but like a really good quality candy. This doesn't smell cheap, it doesn't smell like a celebrity scent. It doesn't smell like a fruity candy. It's just like straight up sweet, sour, sweet tarts. I love it so much. And again, it the perfume bottle is like a perfume dressed up in a costume. So how could this not remind somebody of Halloween? It is, this is Halloween to me. Um, I absolutely love it. This fragrance is an absolute monster as well. It lasts forever on. I can spray this on one time and I'm good for the entire day. Um, it's just, it's amazing. 
This is my favorite sugar fall. I've smelled all of the other ones and I think that the blue one is nice. The newest one, the yellow one, I think is the newest one. That one's really nice. I think that would be my second favorite. Um, but the original, like you just can't beat the original. I just think that this one is so good. So anyways, that is Michelle Germain Sugarful. Okay, next I do have a couple of more Dreamhouse Curio scents. Um, again, the whole house is like Halloween all year round. Um, it's such an, like the whole aesthetic is Halloween all year round, but these two fragrances in particular to me are like Halloween in a bottle. Um, the first one is Candyman. It's amazing. This is sweet and warm, very elevated though smelling, very expensive smelling, very unique. It is delicious. It's it's pretty much a gourmand, but it's got a tiny bit of a perfuminess to it, so it doesn't go too far into gourmand territory to where you're gonna smell like something edible. It's delicious, I love it. Um, again, I just did a whole video on Dreamhouse scents, so I won't spend too much time on them, but this is Halloween in a bottle to me. And then the second Dreamhouse scent that is also Halloween in a bottle is Sugaring. Um, Sugaring is delicious. This is also sweet and warm and elevated smelling and very complex. I think sugaring might have a little bit of peach in it if I remember correctly. It's sweet. It's grown up smelling. It's beautiful. It's expensive smelling. And it looks like Halloween. I mean, this one for sure looks like Halloween because it's black. I mean, it's just, oh gosh, it's so good. So anyways, yeah, that is another really beautiful, sweet Halloween in a bottle scent. That is Dreamhouse Curio Sugaring. And then last but not least, this one doesn't smell like Halloween, but the bottle looks like Halloween. And this is a fragrance that the scent inside does not match the bottle. Um, this is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy and this is the most beautiful, sweet, ooh, sweet berry scent. It's sweet, clean, kind of slightly shampoo-y berries, and it's beautiful. It doesn't at all match the bottle, but tell me this bottle doesn't remind you of Halloween. Every time I look at this bottle, I just, I think that looks like Halloween in a bottle, or that looks like Halloween. Um, this beautiful, bright, like electric royal blue, and then with the kind of bright lavender band around the neck, it just, it reminds me of Halloween. It's gorgeous, I love it. Plus, I usually wear this in the fall. Um, this can be worn all year round. I think it would be amazing in hot weather too, but for whatever reason, I always reach for this one in the fall. So anyways, that is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. And that is gonna be it, guys. Those are a bunch of fragrances in my collection that remind me of Halloween for one reason or another. I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.